hey everyone welcome back to tech genie now this video is for the people who have the trouble with their internet connection especially the high latency or ping problem so today i will be sharing some best registry tweak that you can apply to lower the latency which can be useful if you do the gaming or any other similar work that need a lower ping and the latency and before you starting guys i would recommend you to create a restore point in case if the setting doesn't work for you then you can quickly revert it back click on your window search type restore and click on create a restore point now here at the bottom you have to click on create if the option is not being highlighted click on configure turn on the system protection click on apply click on ok and now you can click on create now give a name here like i will give latency tweak and click on create and it will only take few seconds to create a restore point and once it's been done you will have to click on close click on ok now next you have to click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to type a simple command that will be any tsh space int space udp space set space global space uro equal sign disable and once the command will be completed it will say okay so now you can close the command prompt and bring up the registry editor for that click on your windows search type registry and click registry editor from the suggestion click on yes and this kind of registry editor box will be up so here from the left hand menu option you will have to click on h key local machine make a double click on it then you have to look for system make a double click on it and in the system you have to look for current control set make a double click on it again and then here you have to look for the services make a double click on it and in the services you have to look for a folder by the name afd here it is so again make a double click on it then you will be getting the parameters so once you come to this location of parameters on the right hand side you have to right click hover up to new click dual 32 bit value and this you have to rename it as first first where f will be capital send with s capital datagram with d capital threshold with t capital okay so once you have created this entry now you will have to make a double click on it and you have to change its value data to 409600 click on ok and now you need to go back to current control set and this time from the current control set you have to click on control then you have to look for the class make a double click on it now here you have to look for the entry that is start from 4d36 so here you can see you will find multiple entries by the name 4d36e so you can click on the first one here now you have to look for the folder by the name 0001 all right so you have to look manually for this folder uh, that is start with 4d36e971 and end with 10318 now here you have to look for a folder by the name 001 i mean 0001 and once you click on it you should see all these kind of entries on the right hand side now probably you will not find on all the 001 like if i click on the previous one i only find few of the entries here so you need to come down come down and look for the one that contain all these kind of entries okay so now once you come to this page the very first option that you have to look for will be the receive buffers here it is now in case if you don't find any of the entry like this is a string value so you can make a right click on the blank space over up to new choose a string value and you can name it over the star receive buffers now i already have this entry so it shows me error but on your end it will be quickly created all right so once you see the receive buffer you can see on the right hand side it shows me 256 value so what you can do you can make a double click on it and you can try the value between 1024 or 2048 now i won't say that you go with the very higher so you can try 1024 and click on ok and next after the receive buffer you have to look for the transmit buffer so come down to the t section here it is transmit buffer 
again if you don't find it you can create a new string value and all this entry that says a b in the orange color that indicate it's a string value and the one that says uh, this one in a blue color that is basically that what 32 bit value so double click on the transmit buffer and make its value change to 2048 click on ok next we have to look for the rss star rss make a double click on it and make sure its value is being selected to one only and click on ok now you also need to look for the num rss queues here it is num rss queues you have to look for this one make a double click on it now here you can increase the value data and the higher will be the value the lower the latency you will be getting but you can take it maximum to four and if you take it to four then also you will have to create all these kind of queues okay so what i will do i will type four here and then i will be creating the four different queues so you also need to do the same type four here click on okay then also look for the rss profile here if you don't get the rss profile then make a right click here or up to new choose do what 32 bit value and you have to name it as rss profile exactly type as i typed here make a double click on it change its value data to three click on ok all right so now we are done from here now as we have made the changes in the num rss queues to four so we have to create uh, four different queues in the next step so again come to the left hand side come to the 001 folder make a double click on it then you have to look for the ndi folder make a double click on it in the ndi you have to look for the params make a double click on it again and here you will find the star anam rss queues so now here we have to create all the queues and creating the queues is very easy just make a right click on the blank space over up to new choose the string value name it one because this is the first queue then make a double click on it and type here one queues all right do the same with another one for number two type two make a double click on it and type two queues and so on if you have created the four queues you have to create another two queues by the name three and four all right so this way you have to create the queues here now once you have created the queues go back to the same location where we were before in the 001 and now here we have to make some more changes now look for another value by the name max rss processor but if you don't find the max rss processor then you have to make a right click hold up to new choose the string value and rename it star max rss with r capital processors once created make a double click on it and change its value data to 4 click on ok and so you also need to look for rss max proc number and again if you don't get it again make a right click hold up to new and rename it as a star rss max proc number now here the value data will be totally depending on the logical process that your cpu contain so in order to find out just make a right click on the windows icon click on task manager so now here you can see on my end i have the logical processor around 16 so what i can do i will go back to the registry here and i will reduce the total number that was 16 by 2 so it will come to 14 all right so whatever is the number of the logical process you have to minus that with 2 i mean if it's 16 then i will minus 2 it will be 14 if you have 12 then you can go with 10 if you have 8 then you can go with 6 and then you have to click on ok next you have to look for the flow control here it is now once you get it make a double click on it and you have to disable it and for that you have to change the value data from 3 to 0 click on ok then also you have to look for the interrupt moderation make a double click on it type the value data to 0 because this also we need to disable click on ok then you also need to look for the flow control cap so look for the flow control cap if you get it then you have to change its value data to 0 but if you don't then that's okay you can skip it so that's all guys that what all changes you have to make and once you are done now you can close it go ahead and restart the computer and now from the next time onward you will find that the latency has been reduced and you will be getting the stable internet connection and hopefully this will be working for you 
And if yes, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.